My name is Meisam Gobanlu. Uh, I am an assistant professor at uh, Georgia Institute of Technology. And uh, my research is uh, centered around uh, developing uh, assistive technologies and uh, neural interfaces. The, the tongue drive system is based on a very simple idea. We have a tiny little magnetic tracer that will be attached to the tongue. And since uh, the tissue, uh, human tissue, is transparent to magnetic field, the magnetic field that is being generated by this tiny little tongue, which a uh, uh, tiny little magnet, which is almost the size of a grain of rice, uh, can be detected either inside the mouth or outside if the sensors are close enough to the face. So, by detecting the changes in the magnetic field which result from the movement of the tongue inside the mouth, we can translate these movements, these voluntary movements, to different commands. So literally, a person can issue an unlimited number of commands by making combinations of tongue movements, left, right, left, right, or like up, down, left, to different uh, commands that you could turn light on and off you can associate a movement to turn the TV on and off you can have a few commands dedicated to the wheelchair some for computer access as many as you can remember basically it's uh, minimally invasive or it could be completely non-invasive if you use a uh, tissue adhesive for attachment of the tongue because the other options are uh, either tongue piercing or implantation under the tongue mucosa, under the surface of the tongue. It's a very small magnet and it can be actually, it doesn't need a, even a surgery. It can be injected with a hypodermic uh, needle under, under the tongue. Um, and basically it, it doesn't need any power uh, it's a passive uh, device. Uh, it doesn't. It's completely. In, it's inherently wireless because th this permanent magnet generates this magnetic field forever. And all you do is you move it around with, with your tongue, and the sensors detect those variations, translate it to any sort of command that you have trained the system to detect.